I broke my streak of not reading manga for 10 years, for a decade, for this shit. For Rumiko's new work called uh, Mal. And as you can see, he looks just like Inuyasha. It literally looks like him in a chroma swap. And it's cute. It's like the same kind of theme of like it's a spiritual world and like there's two worlds and she travels between them. The problem with Mao is that it has the same problem that um, Rinne has where the main, the characters aren't as interesting as Inuyasha. They're just not as interesting. Like the girl, she has some personality where she has like a little bit like, she's nice, but she's like a little bit like, don't treat me like shit. But then the guy, like, it, like, look at this, watch. In every panel, he's just not expressive. And it's not in the way of, like, Sashomaru, where it's cool. He has some interesting elements, but they just, like, give him no sort of personality. And when they interact, it's like he's talking past her. Yeah, a lot of weird things happen. Like, that's how he acts in the manga right now. It's just kind of boring, just like in uh, Rinne. This is literally how his face always looks. You see that? He's just always fucking blank face. It's just always the same fucking face. Like, crack a smile, bitch. But it is a cute premise, and I do like it. I do like how it looks, and that's similar to Inuyasha. But I think that it might have the same problem that um, Rinne had, where it's just not interesting to people because one of the characters is too boring. So yeah, I think that she needs to add a little more depth to him in terms of like how he reacts to people and things instead of just like, uh, oh yeah, uh, oh, I don't know. That's what I think of it so far. I'll still read the second one and hope that it can um, find a place close to my heart like how Inuyasha did.